this is a bit of a different video. I am recording this from my home office. Just ignore the big mess back there. I just had to make a second video about how you can highlight a column of data that has blanks in it with a shortcut key. And I'm going to share the different approaches that you guys had because a lot of your approaches were better than mine, especially in that context that I ended up showing. So it's um, always something we shouldn't forget, which I forgot. Don't forget about context. Context is key. So in this video, you're going to learn the different shortcut keys you can use for the different situations. Okay, so let's get started. Number one, if your data starts from row one, and if it's not in a table, you can use the shortcut key. So just go to the column that you want to highlight, right? Because we know that control shift down is not going to work here. So just go to the first row of that column, use control space to highlight the column, and then control shift up, and you've highlighted it. Okay, so that was one common approach that most of you were using to highlight a column of data, especially if your data starts in row one. Now, another approach that some of you shared was to use control N. So if I want to highlight this column, if I use control shift N, I highlight from that column to the last cell of that worksheet. Now you can see my last cell that's in memory is on this side. Probably I had something in the K column that I removed, but Excel has this cell still in memory. The last cell is not always necessarily the last cell that's in your data table. It really depends on the other information that you have in your Excel sheet. So now let's say to go back to the column that I want, I'm going to hold down shift and the arrow key and I'm back there. Now I can copy and paste this where I want. Okay. So that was the second way you can highlight a column of data. Now, number two, if your data doesn't start from the first row and it's not in a table. So let's say I want to highlight this app column still, but it's not starting from the first row because what happens is if I do control space and control shift up, I end up highlighting also the beginning part. So if I use the shortcut key control period and I jump up, you can see that that part's highlighted. Now, here's something that I'm really happy you guys shared because I didn't know about the shortcut key control period to jump to the bottom and jump back up. So thank you for that. Now, right now, if I press control shift down, it doesn't work. So the shortcut key combination for that is a set of four shortcuts that you have to use in order. So number one is control space, control shift up. Okay, so it's the same as what we had last time. But now you need to use control period and jump to the bottom. So don't jump back up, just stay on the bottom and then use control shift down. And now you have highlighted that set of data. Okay, so that was the shortcut combination. I know Bob was one of the persons who sent me that combination and a few of you shared that as well in the comments. So thank you for this one because this one I didn't know. Now, my combination that I showed in the last video actually originated from a question in my Excel Essentials course where the data set was organized like this and the task was to fill empty cells in one go. So we had to highlight this column. Now for that, the shortcut key that you can use is similar to what I showed in the last video. So if you have some blockage here and you want to highlight a column of data, you could go to special, so control G, and then go to some higher number and then use control shift up. And that's for the third situation. So if you have blockage on top and you're not on the first row, this is an alternative shortcut that you can use. But as some of you also shared, and I know that Gert shared this, that best is obviously to have your data in an Excel table because once you have that, you don't have these problems with highlighting. If I wanted to highlight this column, I just need to use the shortcut key, control space, and it's highlighted. There is nothing else I need to do, right? So obviously, best method, always keep your data in a structured table like this, because 
That's the easiest way to highlight a column of data. It's always good to know the different approaches so you can use the best version depending on how your data is organized. I'm really thankful that you guys shared your methods with all of us. So let me know how things are from your side. I hope um, you're staying safe. I hope you're staying sane. Just um, comment below and let me know. Okay, and I'm going to see you on Thursday.